Well, hello, Aquarius. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So welcome, or welcome back, Aquarius, to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what that message is for you. All right, Aquarius, I have turned over all of the decks. The bottom of the deck represents what you do not see coming, what is ahead of you, what is ahead for you that is hidden. And so... I like to think of the timing of this as being after the future energy in the reading. But let's take a look at all your cards here. You have number 43, the Owl Spirit, with you, you see clearly now, card number 43. You see clearly now. All right, that's very cute. And you also have card number 42, Lunar God, the Masculine. Nice. So... The masculine, there you go as well. And then you also have the Six of Swords for your tarot card with movement. And it's interesting because Libra, I think Libra got this as well. So what I feel the message that you do not see coming is that I feel that there is a masculine that you will be seeing a lot more clearly. And... Uh, you know, whether that is for the, well, it'll, it'll be for your best and highest good that you will be seeing this masculine more clearly. And I feel that you will be, that there is a movement or some sort of movement that will be taking place due to the, you know, you being able to see things more clearly, Aquarius. So that's beautiful. I love that so very much for you. So I want to say before, like, as I was shuffling this deck before I started the um, the video for you, Aquarius, I had flipped over the deck, and what I noticed was that there was one card in the whole deck that was flipped upside down, and it was the fear card. So the fear card was flipped upside down, almost to say that like there's nothing to be afraid of and that's the message that came through as I had like flipped it over and seen I was like wow this is the only card that has flipped over like it's the fear card that was upside down and so yeah it came through just as a message Aquarius that yeah that there is nothing for you to be afraid of so if that is a message, you know, whatever that means for you, yeah, just know that needed, that wanted to come out for you. So there's nothing to be afraid of. And if it has anything to do with like a masculine that you are seeing more clearly, just know that like, yeah, like you, like darkness, like dark energy, it doesn't mean more powerful. Like it just means that it just carries more shadows and so yeah as you are starting to see clearly you will be moving forward and moving out of that energy so okay speaking of cards upside down oh my gosh all right you have card number 32 hawk spirit let spirit be your guide absolutely so i'm not even going to lie aquarius this last week i found a tail feather from a hawk and i also like that same day, or no, it was the next day, um, there was a hawk that um, flew over my head and landed on my neighbor's, like, roof across the street and just kind of, like, looked at me. So, yeah, let spirit be your guide. And if, you know, if you need any answers, just talk to spirit, you know, talk to your guides. And, um, I'm think I'm seeing like maybe pay attention to the birds that are flying around as well. So yeah. And this is very green. So this is heart chakra energy as well. So, you know, open up your heart and see things from a more loving perspective. So I love it. All right, in your recent past Aquarius, you have card number twelve with boundaries. 
So I feel that in your recent past, you have been learning how to set boundaries um, and hold those boundaries, not allowing people to just come through and bake break those boundaries that you have set for yourself because um, maybe this is something that you did not have before that in your recent past you realized you needed to put up for yourself um, and that's beautiful that's such beautiful energy yeah we definitely all need boundaries and it's unfortunate that that's not something that we are taught how to you know put up to protect ourselves so your tarot card is the five of cups with grief so I feel that when you decided to put up these boundaries it um, I mean it could have caused you grief within yourself because maybe it felt like you were cutting yourself off from the people that um, you, you maybe depended on you or cared about you but it's also about it could be that you know you setting boundaries also caused grief in what did I say did I say like caused grief in others I don't I don't recall what I said this caused grief not only within yourself but it caused grief in those around you because when we set up boundaries then people start you know, people will get upset. It makes them feel some sort of way because they're used to you being a certain way that maybe they could take advantage of you. So this, you putting up boundaries could have caused grief in those around you who were codependent on your energy, receiving your energy. And um, also too, it could have caused the same grief within yourself because it's you stepping into, you know, a power that you didn't really necessarily realize that you had and it's letting an old version of you die so that a new version can be born so i love that in your present energy aquarius you have card number 44 super moon with attraction so yeah in your present energy i love this because so i this is saturday as i am posting this video this is saturday August 17th and on Monday August 19th there is the full moon in Aquarius and it is an actual super moon and it is a blue moon and so I feel that this is you just being in this energy right now being in the full moon energy and full moons are about releasing but I feel that right now you are attracting to yourself everything like I feel that this has to do with you being protected as well you are bringing into yourself the things that are going to help you set a foundation for, lay a strong foundation for your future. Nice. I love that. Oh my gosh. And you have the Queen of Pentacles with stability. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was saying to set the foundation for the future. And yeah, absolutely. Like... This is getting you, like you are attracting the things into you that are helping you to step into your queen energy and be stable, your queen of pentacles energy. So this is things that are going to bring you in, um, like money into the physical. So yeah, nice. That's amazing. Libra got this also in their present energy for their tarot card. So awesome. All right, moving forward. Nice. You have card number 24 with protection. And so like this, like this whole reading is just about like protection. So you setting boundaries to protect yourself. And this is, I feel like this is spirit protecting you. Like pretend like this little bird is a hawk. Let spirit be your guide. Spirit is there protecting you. You are spirit's little baby. So make sure that you are reaching out and telling spirit that you want protection that yeah you are their babes <laughs> so yeah know that moving forward you are very protected like yeah absolutely you are in full protection energy so I love that and nice and you have the ten of cups with completion 
So moving forward into this protection energy, it is bringing you so much happiness and joy within yourself. It's bringing you emotional stability and yeah, you are feeling complete. You are feeling like your cup is completely full. You are, yeah, like <laughs> you are in spirit's arms, like in the way that like they have, they have your back. Spirit, it, let spirit be your guide. You are protected. You are safe. You can move forward in any way that you want. And yeah, you're feeling it. You are feeling like, look, you are going from the five of cups with grief to the ten of cups with completion. So it's like you are getting five more cups that are filled up for you. And in between, you are getting yourself into this stable energy like right now just like in your stable energy so wow that's beautiful Aquarius all right well this has been another of your readings and uh, yeah I hope you found something that resonates with you and if you did please remember to hit that thumbs up because it definitely helps out the videos so very much. Also, whether or not you are subscribed to the channel is completely up to you. But if you are subscribed, I want to say thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. So, <laughs> thank you so very much, Aquarius. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in your next one.